The seal frame is a very unique external fixation device, uh, unique to the entire industry in that uh, it is utilized for a multitude of different pathologies. Another unique modality about the frame is the frame literally will come to you either prepackaged and assembled or sitting on your hospital shelf. The frame also can be utilized and assembled in a custom format for you and sent to your hospital. However, when it comes to within the OR, it comes out of the package and literally is ready to go in a static construct or angular construct. Not only do you have the hinge struts that actually out for well over 45 degrees of motion, but you have angulated fixation points on the ring components of the frame as well. These are both connected to either half rings, 5 8 rings, or full rings, or full foot plates. Additionally, these struts will allow you to compress and distract and statically position the frame. You can actually take off a portion of the strut on the bottom, remove pieces of the struts to bend them out and or get fuller or more improved exposure to the anatomy for fixation via wire or pin fixation components. Once you have the frame fixated to your pathology, you can actually remove portions of the frame without hindering your basic construct and or your unique advanced reduction and start manipulating elements of the frame. The struts are one of the most durable struts in the industry, if not the most durable. I say that because these struts can actually have compression clamps placed to the strut device that allow pin components or wire components to come directly off the strut other than off the frame, which is a, a standard in the industry. These struts can endure a tremendous amount of force and no other strut on the market can, can emulate that. One particular story was a gal who was actually at her son's baseball game, fell and was sent to the ER. Her ankle fracture was so bad they were, gonna, they were contemplating performing a below the knee amputation on the patient because the fixation modalities within the hospital weren't present. We were actually able to have a speed frame shipped in immediately and because of the versatility of the speed frame, the patient had not one incision placed on her leg and we were able to reduce the pathoanatomy, get the frame into position, salvage the component, salvage the structure of the patient's leg, and she left that hospital not only with her leg, but now with a completely functional limb, and she's out playing baseball in the backyard with her son every day. So the power of the SEAL speed frame, again, is limitless and endless.